All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Meta. Coin of the day, CADEX. Can this coin 2x, 5x, maybe even 10x? Let's pull up CADEX in the charts. Let's break this project down. And I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about how to use CADEX. Ready? Let's dive deep. So taking a look at CADEX, CADEX currently has a circulating supply of 213 million coins out in circulation. Price point is around seven cents. If we take supply times that by price, that gives us a market cap of $15 million. If we take a look at those statistics and those tokenomics right now with a price point of seven cents and a market cap of $15 million. For you to 2X on that investment and for the price of CADEX to hit 14 cents, the market cap would only need to be 30 million. For that asset to 10X and hit a price point of 70 cents, $150 million market cap, 20X, $1.40, 300 million, 100X, $7, 1.5 billion, and for this asset to 1000x and hit a price point of $14, the market cap would need to be $30 billion. So the next thing I want to point out is the acceleration and the growth of DeFi ecosystems. Now, I have mixed emotions about how I think DeFi is going to play out, but because Cadena has potential to revolutionize how DeFi interacts, CADEX stands a chance to play a monumental role in that. So because we saw Ethereum go from 130 to 1400, Binance from 40 to 688 in 210 days, Solana from 200 to 210 in 204 days, Terra 5 to 100 in 160 days, Avalanche 10 to $135 in 200 days, Polygon, the crazy one, two cents all the way up to $2.68 over 470 days. Not one of these ecosystems could have done what they did without their decks. If we swing over to DeFi Llama, we can see that Cadena TVL has just hit an all-time high at $6.44 million. I know that's not a lot of money, but for the Cadena ecosystem, this is huge. We can see that according to DeFi Llama, CADEX is the number one liquidity holder in the Cadena ecosystem. Taking a look at this chart, straight up into the right. That's exactly what we want to see. Let's go. Now, if we swing over to CADEX's website, very, 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 very clean interface. So the first page we're going to start on is the swap. The swap is really super easy to use. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna wanna come over to Zelcor, we're gonna click on our Cadena wallet, and we are going to copy our wallet address. So if you click the receive button, and you highlight it, and you just click the QR code, swing back over to CADEX in the top right, click connect wallet. I'm gonna choose Zelcor. It's gonna say get Zelcor account. What's nice here, if you click the always open button and hit open Zelcor, it's gonna automatically open it for you, which is really awesome. So what we're gonna wanna do, yours might say mining, farming, investing, but I relabeled mine wallets, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna exit out of all these wallets. And what that's going to do, these wallets are completely separate. So in Zelcor, I have six individual wallets. So because I'm interacting with DeFi and I have a majority of my Cadena in wallet one, maybe I don't wanna connect that wallet. Maybe I only wanna give CADEX permission to see one wallet inside Zelcor. And that's exactly what I want to do. That way, if I send extra Cadena to wallet six in Zelcor, if something crazy happens with CADEX, they get hacked. Nobody has access to that wallet. So we're going to type in our pin and we are going to hit share accounts. We're going to come back to CADEX, choose the drop down, and click the K address account and hit connect. And boom. Now I can see that at the top, my wallet has been successfully connected. Now CADEX also has a game mode. So if you're interested in switching into game mode, it's a little bit confusing to me. I think it's a little harder to use. So we're just gonna stick to regular mode. So right now, if I wanted to swap, you can see I have 215 Cadena in chain two. If I did not have Cadena in chain two, for example, if I clicked on chain one and I had all of my Cadena in chain one, I would need to click send. You need to verify your pin. We had already copied our address. So we're just gonna paste in our address right here. And we're gonna slide down and we're gonna choose destination chain. And then I'm gonna choose the amount that I wanna send. Let's send over 100 KDA. If I choose the economy gas fee, it'll be free. If I choose normal, it'll be less than a penny. If I choose fast, it'll be 14 cents. So we're just gonna choose the economy because it's free. And we're gonna hit send. It's gonna ask you to confirm it, boom. Now I'm sending from chain one to chain two, and it'll take about 30 seconds to propagate and then another 30 seconds to finalize. So if you don't see it in chain two right away, give it a minute, it'll be there. So now let's say we wanna add some liquidity and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that as we use this asset. Okay, so let's start off by saying we didn't own any CADEX. So if we wanna get some CADEX, all we need to have is Cadena in our wallet. 
So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna type in how much cadena do we wanna swap for CADEX. So let's say we wanna swap 100 cadena for 2,870 CADEX. The first thing we can do is go into our settings and we're gonna wanna make sure our slippage isn't up too high. Now that their DEX is running, there should be no reason that 1% slippage is not enough. So we're gonna choose 1%. You can see it says max slippage here at 1%. We are going to pay a 30 cent fee to the liquidity provider because somebody else already staked their KDA and CADEX and that's how we are able to swap these assets. So we are not paying a gas fee. We are paying a fee to the liquidity providers who are allowing this swap to happen. It's going to say, please sign in Zellcor. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to sign that transaction. And it's going to ask you to confirm that withdrawal. You're going to see gas cost zero. It's going to break down the entire transaction. I'm swapping $206 worth of KDA to get $205.35 worth of KDX. And one of the things that I really like about how CADEX did this site, these transaction messages, they stay pending until the transaction finalizes. And when the transaction finalizes, it turns to green and I believe it stays there as well. So it's really nice that it lets you know, hey, your swap has been complete. Your transaction failed. Very, very important, especially for first time users. They did a really good job at that. Boom, there we go, transaction succeeded. So now you can see my balance shows that I actually have 2,872 CADEX in my wallet. Now let's say we wanted to get some flux and now we are gonna choose to get some flux. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in $100 worth of KDA and I'm gonna swap it, I'm gonna get $330 worth of flux. Perform the same, same swap again. And remember, we had 215 Cadena, we swapped, but before we ended up sending an extra 100 coins of Cadena to chain two. So it looks like my balance did not adjust, but it did. It was, 1% slippage worked. Wow, they're doing a great job on this DEX. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna click the liquidity tab. We're gonna choose the add liquidity button. So the first pair we're gonna wanna pair up is Flux and KDA. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna choose Flux on the top pair, and on the bottom pair, we're gonna choose Cadena. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the Max tab. That's gonna put all of our Flux into this pool, and it's gonna automatically try to balance the pool. So $200 here and $205 here. As long as they're close, it's okay. And we're gonna choose Supply Liquidity. Now it's asking us to sign back in our Zellcore wallet. And boom. Now it's gonna confirm, it's gonna say, hey, you wanna add this liquidity? We are gonna own almost 1% of the liquidity pool over here because there's not many people staking Flux and KDA. So that's gonna give us an opportunity to make some decent money every time somebody comes over here and swaps Flux for KDA. Now, before we continue, if you don't understand how impermanent loss works, I suggest you search whiteboard crypto in permanent loss videos so you can understand that the value ratios of these pools are super critical. You can't just come over here and add liquidity and think you're gonna make crazy APY and it's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows because there's a chance that you could lose a lot of money with impermanent loss. But with these two assets, I feel very safe and confident about it because when one runs up without the other and it ends up with you end up getting more of one token than you end up with the other, it's okay because it's Flux and Cadena, you know? So our transaction confirmed. Now we're gonna go back and choose the, we're gonna come back to the liquidity tab and we're gonna choose my liquidity. And you can see now I am staking CADEX and KDA. I have $153 worth of Cadena and $153 worth of CADEX. That was already done before I started recording this video. We now have added $205 worth of KDA and $200 worth of Flux. When I first started staking CADEX on the launch of their decks, this was worth $94 and this was worth $94. I turned $188 into $306.87 in the last five days. We can now come back over here as well and stake some of our CADEX. If I wanted to come over here and stake, I would just come over here and choose max. And I can now stake another $205 worth of CADEX. So I'm gonna choose the stake button. Every time you do anything in any wallet, you're always going to have to reconfirm that transaction in Zellcore. I think Zellcore is my favorite wallet to interact with it with DeFi ecosystems. CADEX has a reward multiplier. So to incentivize people to continue to hold and stake, they have a penalty. So you are gaining a ton of X rewards for staking. I started with $4.95 and my $4.95 is already up 2X, over 2X to $11.65. So I'm gonna ride this CADEX wave up. I'm just throwing money that I would go out on a weekend with some buddies. So if I didn't go out last weekend, saved a couple hundred bucks, all right, cool. That's all I'm willing to risk. I'm gonna throw a couple hundred bucks over here and just have some fun. And we can now see that we have staked 
$862. Now, if we refresh the page, we can see that we have a pending 2,872 Caddx getting ready to stake. It'll probably take a second to show up. We can see our daily reward penalty if we were to unstake early. And we can see that you have different thresholds. So when you make it to seven days, your multiplier is 0.5. When you wake it to, wow, your two months, your multiplier is one. When you make it to 8.5 months, your multiplier is 1.5. When you make it to 22 months, your multiplier is two. If you stay staked for four years, you're earning 2.5X multiplier. I believe that's how that works. That's really cool. We can also see that Cadex has a burn. So every time anybody swaps or withdraws early, or there's a bunch of different scenarios where they have created their own burn. So their token will become quote unquote deflationary at some point in time. You can swing over to the analytics board. We can see CADEX stats. What I really, really love about this is they show their vesting schedule. That is very open. It's very, very transparent. The only bummer is the fact that it jumps every two months. You can see here, I go from June to August. It jumps every two months. It would be really nice if that jumped every month. So we could see because at some point here, funds are getting released and I don't know, do they do the vesting cliffs unlock on September 1st or do they unlock on October 1st? We can't really tell. So it'd be nice to see that they added that so you could jump by month to month. You can scroll down to the bottom. You can see burned, liquidity mine, community sale, team tokens, and Dow treasury and exactly when all the vesting cliffs or how many vesting cliffs have unlocked already, how many exactly how many coins are out in circulation, how much liquidity mining rewards have been released, how much money has been released into the Dow treasury. We couldn't Oh, wow, they got it working. So on opening day, the vault was not working, but the vault is working now. We can see different percentage yields based off their vault. Very, very cool. It looks like this is still a work in progress. I don't, I'm not familiar with it, so I won't even try to act like I am. I will say there is no back button. We lost our dashboard bar up here. So it'd be nice if we could, um, if there was a way to get back out of that page. We can swing over to the DAO and we can see their proposal page. So this is really cool. Their DAO is right on their website. So it doesn't seem like they're trying to hide anything if there was any open proposals. And I assume that eventually there'll be a way for you to submit a proposal over here. And I would assume that to do so, you will need to have a percentage of CADEX staked in order to have some type of voting power in the network. You can come over here and turn gas station on or off. If you want to turn it off, you don't want free gas. You can speed up your transactions. On the right hand drop down side, you can see X wallet. So if you guys want to use X wallet, there's their links to their X wallet. Um, X wallet's still in beta. This is a new project. So I always feel safe just kind of stepping back, making sure that the wallets are safe. We just seen what happened with Phantom and Solana. Just these are new wallets, new ecosystems. I just like using Zellcore because I know that it's been battle tested. It's been trusted and it works really well with interacting with DeFi. So if we jump back over to this chart, where do I think the price of Cadex can get to? If we seen Cadex with $150 million market cap, that would be pretty much 50% of what Cadena's market cap is, which is pretty, pretty crazy. They normally work around 10% ratios. So a DEX normally holds 10% of the value of the main asset. So I would say that Cadex maybe has another 2X in it, maybe 4X. I think that would be pretty, that'd be pushing it. But as Cadena goes up in value, if we say Cadena is going to be a $3 billion asset, I think that when Cadena gets the 3 billion, the Cadex market cap should be roughly 300 million. So if Cadena got to $150 billion asset, which I think is very realistic, I would say that the price of Cadex would be $7. Will that happen next bull run? I'm not sure. It depends on how fast their ecosystem develops, what new upgrades and modifications and how awesome their NFTs are. There's a lot up in the work still that we don't know about about Cadena, and we're not sure when it's all going to be ready. So when everything's ready, I think that by 2025, at least 2030, yeah, I would say 100x returns. By 2025, 2030 for sure, I think Cadex will bring 100x returns from, a current, from its current price point. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys could do me a favor, drop some comments below. Let me know where you think Cadex is going. I personally think that they did a phenomenal job at the launch. There was a lot of players that were trying to sabotage Cadex and make Cadex look really bad. And they started selling in the beginning, trying to tank price. The Cadex team stepped in, they stabilized price. The deck stayed up and running. I was using it from the very beginning. We live streamed it for four hours. I didn't have any problems with any failed transactions. Slippage was a little high. The only thing that I would suggest that they do is definitely take those treasury funds and add liquidity for every asset, whether that's KD Launch, KD Swap, any of these smaller projects, add massive amounts of liquidity over there. That way people don't have to increase their slippage and they can swap assets on your deck without paying those high fees or penalties. I personally wouldn't even swap because so would, because liquidity was so low on some of those assets. So drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.